Hey everybody, welcome to Peppy's channel. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit once again about citrus, but specifically what I have in this little vial in front of me. In this vial I have 50 miniature wasps. These guys are the size of a sesame seed. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be releasing these guys among some of my citrus trees right now. All right, now in previous videos, I've talked about different ways of controlling uh, many different insects. The latest video I did was about uh, leaf miner. And what we did with the leaf miner is we were able to utilize a combination of a spray that's organic and we also used these uh, delta traps with the pheromones inside, okay? Now that was specifically to control leaf miner. Today what I'm doing is I'm gonna be opening up this little tube or this little vial that contains 50 Tamarixia radiata. And we're gonna have these guys released here in a minute among the canopy of the tree. It's a very small tree. Behind me I have a nice Myers lemon and I've got one already strategically set up. So let's go over there and I'll show you what we're doing, okay? Now I think you guys can see some movement inside that vial. Uh, up towards the top of the tube, right below that blue cap, you're gonna see a little piece of paper and there little wasps are moving around on that little piece of paper. That little paper contains honey and uh, that's to sustain these guys. But uh, these guys have a very, very specific mechanism in order to survive. And I'm gonna explain how that's gonna be used um, as a way of eradicating or at least controlling. Probably more like controlling because the people from the ag department don't wanna say that this is gonna eradicate anything that it's just gonna control them at best. So I'm part of this pilot program here in Florida and um, I'm gonna explain what we're doing and, and how this works. I, I wanted an easy way of uh, placing the vial inside the tree. So I figured the easiest way to do it because they basically give you these vials like this with the, uh, with the wasps in it and you're supposed to place that in the center of the canopy of the tree and preferably you want to find a tree that already has some psyllids or at least some kind of evidence that the tree has um, the citrus uh, greening disease. Now I've checked this tree out several times I've been taking really good care of it and um, it's got lots of new growth on it and it has some older growth and it has you know the usual attacks from aphids and so on but for the most part I could almost tell you that this tree does not have any greening issues. Now I haven't gotten any fruit so far this year, but the previous harvest were good tasting Myers lemons with no you know, misshapen fruit. You don't necessarily have to have one of these infected trees on your property to help. So if you wanna be on the program and you have citrus, contact your local agricultural extension in your state to see if they have a similar program so you can help release these wasps into the environment, help your neighbor's trees, help the overall state with the problem of Asian citrus psyllid. So one of the things I wanna do is before I open the cap on the little uh, vial and release these little guys all over, there's about 50 of them in there, I'm gonna get rid of this guy here because I'm a little bit concerned that with the delta trap and the sticky and the pheromone that's in there, some of them might end up now, not that they're going to be attracted to that pheromone that's in there because that's very specific for the citrus leaf miner. I still am a little nervous that if they start flying around and they find their way in there just coincidentally, they're going to get stuck and that's one less that I have to do its job. All right, so I've taken the delta trap and I moved it about five feet away onto the fence line so I have some activity from the pheromone to try to control some of those leaf miners. But as I said earlier, I want to make it possible for these guys to get a good start. And after I open this cap, they're going to come out and they're going to start looking for Asian citrus psyllid nymphs. That's the young stage as they begin to develop. And what it's going to do is it's going to go after those nymphs and it's going to go ahead and attack them by basically laying an egg inside. If it doesn't find one and it doesn't lay an egg inside, its life ends. That's it. The only way they can reproduce is by doing exactly what I described. So these are parasitoids as opposed to parasites. Parasites are going to go into an animal or into a plant or an insect and they're just going to be 
a problem, it's going to weaken them, and eventually it may kill them, but you would need large quantities. These particular guys are specifically looking for the nymph that is the Asian citrus psyllid, and they will find them if they're out there. So it is a parasitoid because it must kill. It is an assassin. It has to kill the Asian citrus psyllid in order for it to complete its life cycle. So that's what this is all about, and we're about to release a whole bunch of assassin wasps on any psyllids that are out here. Here we go. Now I'm holding the cap up just in case. And I see them actually flying away already. And they're going to start hovering around and trying to locate only the Asian citrus psyllids. All right, so our little uh, wasps are already pretty much completely vacated the little tube. And um, what they're gonna be doing pretty soon is, as I've already said, searching out and destroying the uh, Asian citrus psyllid. Now, one of these guys in their lifespan, they're gonna knock out roughly 500 psyllids to one. One of these will knock out 500 psyllids. Now over here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So again, I'm gonna remove the uh, delta trap with the pheromone because I don't wanna risk any of these guys getting caught in here as they fly out. So I'll move that along the fence line temporarily. Uh, we'll put it over here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this guy up also down in the canopy of the tree so that we can open up this tube and release this tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it down here with my little, uh, and I'll need a little piece of wood. So I'll take a small little piece of the uh, the wood from the uh, mulch. And uh, it's real easy. All I'm doing is wrapping it around like this. And you can use anything, large rubber band, whatever you want. Once I pulled it through the loop, I'm going to insert this little piece of wood securely in there. Again, this is only temporary. After they're gone, you're going to take off the tube and get rid of it okay but for now we're gonna go ahead and secure it like this I have it in the center of the canopy of the tree I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up the cap make sure there's nobody here just tap it now I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to get these uh, wasps in the future I'm thinking that if this is found to be very successful which I think it will be There'll probably there will probably be many companies that will start selling these if if not already available I haven't seen them uh, but yeah when I heard about this program I got pretty excited I want to be a part of it and uh, I think you should too okay so if you have citrus trees on your property consider uh, getting some of these wasps again it's Tamarixia radiata all right so we've released the uh, the little assassins out here among this Chinoto citrus. The one thing you want to do is you want to be aware of what you're spraying out in the yard. So, you know, one thing is to release them. Another thing is to then come out the next day because you see some aphids and you start spraying, okay? So you're gonna to have to limit this spraying in your yard so that you can give these guys a chance to get a foothold. So it, it, it may actually be a good idea not to spray anything for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, give them a chance to get out there, grab some psyllids, get in there, lay the eggs, and start to reproduce so that you can have higher and higher populations of these guys. As I said earlier, we, we, we kind of you know, hope that there's ways of doing things that actually are going to work to eradicate. But you know, if you ask the experts in the agricultural field, they don't believe that uh, this is going to be the only way but uh, it can certainly reduce the populations and the idea is to give the people enough time that are studying this uh, with um, a lot of intensity and a lot of energy to to come up with a better solution okay I know the environment is something that you know the people of the agricultural uh, uh, departments are very concerned about I've met many of them and they do care a lot about the environment so 
you know, they're going to do their best to find the solution. That's, uh, that's a good one. I've uh, got to put a little bit of faith in humanity. I know that a lot of times we think that everybody's in bed with everybody and everybody's all about money, but it's, it's yeah, there's some truth to that. But I think there's still a lot of people out there that care. So uh, I'm glad to know that the uh, program of releasing these uh, little assassin wasps is in full swing and that more people will get involved with it. So keep in mind that uh, there's probably an opportunity for you to do it. Contact your agricultural extension service and get yourself some of these guys. Hey, thanks for coming by, checking out the video. By the way, above me, I'm going to put the video all about Asian citrus psyllid, what that's all about, what citrus greening is about, so you can be a little bit better uh, informed. And uh, get out there, do something. Go plant a tree, will you? And thanks for coming by. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up.